Right, we were practicing um, rectangles, squared, triangles, and circles. Let's start a new drawing. Go back to a, or go back. You can also click your Google Drive or AutoCAD files. You can click that, and you're immediately on your AutoCAD files in your Google Drive. We're going to start a new drawing. Again, you wait for to finish uh, initializing because it's running off your web browser. And this initiation process uh, depends on uh, how fast your Chromebooks are. If you have more memory, then it'll just go faster. If you have less memory, it'll go slower. Okay, and also the speed of your internet. So the next uh, shape that we're going to practice on are polygons. So we already used this to define three-sided, okay, uh, polygons, which are triangles. And you can define that simply by clicking and then dragging uh, using inscribe or circumscribe. There you go, okay. So polygons are the same way. Uh, so, I mean, uh, a pentagon uh, would be like our first uh, regular polygon, and the pentagon has five sides, so you put five, and then you click the center, and then you type in uh, I, right? Press enter for I, or type I, and you can now drag uh, to make a polygon. So you can make a polygon by inscribe or circumscribe, same deal with the triangles here. Inscribe inside an imaginary circle. Circumscribe outside an imaginary circle. Inscribe, you're defining it through the uh, corner. Circumscribe, you're defining it uh, through the edge, I think. So either that one or vice versa, okay? Another way to define uh, uh, triangles and polygons, uh, it's not through the center, but defining the length of a side, okay? If you want to do the length of a side, you click on polygon. Uh, let's start with triangles again. So you type three, press enter. And then inside of, instead of clicking this, uh, the center, what you do is you click on the word edge. When you click on the word edge, you are defining one edge. So if you wanted a equilateral triangle with sides of three, you simply click once, drag your mouse, and you can see now there's no center now. It's now defining the edge or the length of the side. And if you wanted it to be three, you type in three, you press enter. Okay, and that's going to be the, that small. That's three. Okay. If you wanted 10, this which is uh, bigger than that one, you click polygon, you type in the number of sides, 3, enter, and then you click edge, so because you want to define the length of the edge, you click this one, you drag out, and then you type in 10, and you can see it's bigger, okay? So again, polygon, number of sides is 3, click edge, click this one, and then drag, and then type in your length for the side, 30, click that one, and there you go, okay? Same thing with pentagons and hexagons and octagons. You click polygon. If you wanted a pentagon, you type 5, press enter. If you want to define the length of a side, you click edge. You click one point, and then you drag. And if you wanted the sides to be 50, you type in 50, press enter. There you go. So one side is 50. One side is 50. One side is 50. So that's how to make polygons. Okay? So again, polygons, pentagon, octagon, hexagon. So click that one. Um, or... Uh, hexagon is 6, and then I want to define the edge, I click the edge, I drag, and then I type in how big the hexagon should be. So if I want it to be 40, I type in 40, 45, 50, 55, whatever. And that's all the sides are uh, the same, okay? Uh, octagon, click here, octagons are 8, okay? Enter, click the edge, I want to use edge, I click here, I drag, and I wanted uh, the side to be 35, Put 35, press enter, and there you go. The side of each of this one is, 40, is 35, okay? So for this exercise, we were practicing how to create polygons using edge and polygons. You can define the number of sides. Three means an equilateral triangle. Five sides means pentagon. Six sides is hexagon. Eight sides is octagon, and so forth, and so on. So let's go ahead and practice making these polygons.